Hey pretties, welcome back to my channel. If you don't know me, my name is Tanya and I film all kinds of pink, girly, beauty, fashion, and lifestyle videos on this channel. So if that's something you're into, make sure you hit the subscribe button down below and turn on the bell notification so you don't miss any of my videos. So for today's video, I finally have my vanity tour. I know you guys have been requesting me to do this for so long, but the truth is... I am extremely picky when it comes to how I organize things and I just wasn't very happy with how it looked yet and even now I'm not like completely happy with how it looks but it's okay we're gonna do the video anyway because I am like pretty happy with how it looks because of what I just did today I actually went in and lined all my drawers with vinyl paper you can find vinyl paper at Michael's I will link the exact one I used down below in the description box so you guys can get it as well Hey guys, so really quickly I wanted to insert this clip because both Charlotte and I are filming our vanity tours today and I want you guys to go ahead and go check hers out. I'm actually currently in her beauty room and this is kind of like a little bit of behind the scenes sneak peek. <laughs> so you guys have to go and watch hers as well because we stayed up till 3 in the morning filming and cleaning, doing all kinds of stuff to get these videos up. We so, are dedicated. Dedication so yes go follow both of us on instagram check out charlotte's vanity i'm going to link it down below for you guys all right now let's continue to my video all right guys without further ado i'm sitting next to my vanity so i'm over here petting it but let's go ahead and get started are we ready for this room tour are we ready are we ready Alright guys, so here is an overview of my vanity. Charlotte is going to be helping me film today. So you will see her, hear her, all that. And yeah. Looks a little different than my room tour, huh? I've been doing stuff. So let's go ahead and see what's on top of the vanity. I'm on top of the vanity, not really. I'm just in the mirror, but... Hello! Because I have to do that annoying thing everybody does when they get in the mirror. It's like, hi, uh, that's me. <laughs> yeah. So we're going to start with this cute little organizer. You can find this on Amazon. I will link it. Isn't it adorable? It's so cute. Next to it, I just have some flowers. I found these peonies at a Ross and then I just spray painted the vase white. And then the little uh, tray that it's on, that's from Hobby Lobby. Of course, we have a candle going. That's from Bath and Body Works my favorite it's champagne toast it's my favorite i don't know why i whispered that anyway so on top we have some brushes these are sl miss glam brushes right here these are her cat cotton candy sets then we have her marble ones which are so cute and then we also have her barbie brush oh, i love this brush it's like my favorite brush to apply powder with so yeah, this home is glam, y'all. My foundations are a little dusty. Excuse that. So these are my favorite foundations right here that I use either on a daily basis or more often than the ones in my drawers. I have both of my Chanel Ultra Lip Taint. I have my normal color, which is BD30. And I have my, norm my tan color, which is BD41. And then I recently bought this new Dior one. This is the Forever Skin Glow, and I have been liking it so far. I don't know if I like it more than my Chanel, but I do like it. And we have my Too Faced Diamond Light Fire Highlighter. Over on this side, oh wait, no, let's go into this first. So these are my most used favorite lip glosses well these back here are just their for aesthetic because they're cute these are the kkw ones and i do use these actually quite frequently but they're still there for aesthetic as is everything on this thing but i do use it as well so these right here are my favorite lip glosses at the moment anytime i want to put on lip gloss i go to these lately um and these are two face glosses we have a net worth all the stars and this pink one which is the one i use the most is called two night stand super super pretty so then over on here we have some face products we have these ysl ones if you guys watched my last 
um, girly shop with me, you would have seen this. I also have my um, YSL primer here. This is just their blurring primer. I have a YSL blush, a Chanel blush, and then I have my favorite Kylie powders. There's two bronzers, a highlighter, and a blush. And then we move on to the little drawers. This first one has all my beauty blenders. And then I have this one that I just got in BoxyCharm. This is from Looksee, And I have yet to try those. These are not actual beauty blenders. These are from Shop Miss A because I like them a little bit more. Not gonna lie. So I use these and they're only like a dollar something. So they're super cheap and so worth it. Next to that I have all of my concealers. And then I have like one Too Faced backup. This one's empty. And Too Faced Born This Way is my all-time favorite concealer. And then I have a ColourPop Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Concealer I've been trying out. And this one, you guys. Oh my gosh, you guys need to try this if you have dry skin. This is the Elf Hydrating Camo Concealer. So it's basically the Camo Concealer, but hydrating. So they came out with the hydrating one. We have Tarte Shape Tape and this really awesome Milani Concealer. This is Conceal and Perfect. I actually wore that today. I really like that too. Those are my two favorite drugstore concealers at this moment. If you don't want to spend $30 on Born This Way. Which Born This Way is still the best one, just saying. So, in this giant one, I keep prepping stuff. Which right now, I actually switched a lot of stuff over to my skincare fridge. So, um, right now I just have like my Charlotte Tilbury Wonder Glow. My Charlotte Tilbury Health... Charlotte... <laughs> Charlotte so, Tilbury. <laughs> <laughs> so I have my Charlotte Tilbury Healthy Glow. This is an awesome, awesome um, tinted moisturizer that I use when I'm tan. It just looks so good. I don't even put foundation on when I wear this. But I have to be tan because if I'm not tan, it makes my face look darker than my body. So I have to be tan for that one. And then I have my MAC... Um, this is just normal prep and prime, but this was like a holiday or a limited edition bottle. And this top is actually black, but I took the top from another limited edition bottle and put it on the pink one so it can be pink and white. So yeah, that's what I did. And then every time I buy a new Fix Plus, I just pour it in here because the bottle's cute. So this right here, oh my gosh, it has no rhyme or rhythm. Honestly, it's just all my most used lip products like liquid lipsticks and lip glosses i have my victoria's secret velvet mats anastasia kylie this is my favorite kylie ever this is coco k i have some huda beauty i have my burberry ones these are like my fall my favorite fall lipsticks right here my burberry they are in in number five number 49 and number 53 and then here i have more lipsticks galore most of these are kylie Kevin Aquan and Anastasia. So yeah. Okay, and then down here I have all my powders and stuff. So I these are all my favorite powders that I use all the time. I have my Kylie, this one right here though. Oh my gosh, I just bought this last week, I think. I don't know, it was recent. Oh my gosh, this is my favorite powder ever, 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 ever. More than Chanel, which says a lot because Chanel was my favorite before this one. But Rihanna, Riri. Gosh, you're doing things to me lately. But anyway, I also have my other, one of my other favorites. This is Pound Cake by Huda Beauty. But I actually found out that unless I'm tan, I need cupcake. Pound Cake is good when I'm tan, which normally I will be now because it's almost summer. But so yeah, we have Pound Cake. I have my favorite, favorite Chanel Tan de Soleil. That's what it's called, right? Soleil Tan de Chanel. Sorry, I said that wrong. But this is so bomb for cream contouring, especially if you have dry skin. It's worth every single penny because it lasts so long. And I have, I have my Chanel powder. If you're wondering which color I get, it is called Translucent 2. I've been buying this for years. Okay, then we have Too Faced Primed and Poreless, and this is more like of an all-over. I don't really like this underneath my eyes. Next, we have this drawer, and I have all of my most used palettes. We have Amrezy, Chocolate Bon Bon by Too Faced, Carly Bible by Anastasia. We have the Too Faced Semi Sweet, which this is my favorite, but it, unfortunately they no longer sell it, so I am sorry, but... 
we have um, the Huda Beauty Nude and the uh, Mercury Retrograde by Huda Beauty. And like this is, oh, I love the shimmers in this one. They're so nice. So next to that, we have some mascara. This is my favorite Too Faced mascara. However, I'm going to have to buy the waterproof because I started noticing it smudges on me. I always thought it was my eyeliner, but it's actually my mascara. And it's because of this mascara. So I wouldn't recommend it if you wear long falsies because it'll smudge get the waterproof one so i have this hello kitty eyeliner that's the bomb.com but recently i've been trying the Too faced one because i'm running out of that one and i love 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 this like wow yes this is a big thumbs up so i have my anastasia um brow gel which just doesn't actually go here so i'm gonna put it where it goes and then I just got this new one by Benefit. This is a roller liner. I'm excited to try that. And then back here, I have the packaging for that YSL product that I just showed you guys earlier. And the reason why I kept that is because I didn't know if I was going to like it. And yeah, that's why I kept it. Now it just looks cute back there. Okay, moving along to the other side of the top of my vanity. I have my... Miss Dior perfumes. It will be a perfume collection up next week, so stay tuned for that. But oh my gosh, love these. The bottles are adorable. I love them sitting on my vanity so much just because of how cute they are. So next we have my two pots that I keep my brushes in. Yes, these are actually flower pots. I will link them. You can find them on Amazon. And I have all of my brushes here. I keep only pink brushes. For myself, all my black brushes I use only on my clients. So I have like these. I have Luxie as well. And I have way more brushes in this, but they're dirty. So yeah, we have all of these are from SL Miss Glam, Luxie. Those are basically my top two favorites. And then the Jeffree Star ones that he did with Morphe. I buy those because they're pink too. And they're like Morphe, but Jeffree Star. So it makes them pink. So yeah. Anyway. Moving along, I have my Macron. We're not going to open this because it just has a lot of eyelashes and it looks kind of gross. <laughs> and then we get to this side. So all of these cups or brush holders or whatever you want to call these, these are all from Glitter Madness. And oh my gosh, are these not the cutest things you've ever seen. They're adorable. She actually hand makes these, so I will link her down below. And then I have one of my lashes. If you guys don't know or if you're new to my channel or just stumbled on this video, I have my own eyelash company. And this is the packaging here. And then I just sit one here on the top because it's so aesthetically pleasing. And that's the main reason why I made my eyelash packaging like this because it's like a little present from me to you. And I want it to be like a keepsake, something you can use to decorate your room with. So on top of here inside of the brushes, I have lip liners. Tons of lip liners, MAC, um, CoverGirl, I don't know, just a lot. And recently, my favorite lip liners are from KKW. So good, you guys, so good. Then I have my spoon brushes is what I like to call them. I don't know what they're called. I think they're dupes for like artiste brushes or something like that. And I occasionally use these. I don't use these as much as I used to anymore, but I still have them which I don't know I'm gonna see if I use them if not I might actually get rid of them because like I said I don't use them that much but I really like this giant one to blend contour like cream contour and then on this in this one I have newer brushes that I just got and I'm trying out I have the new SL Miss Glam set these are her gold glitter set they're so beautiful and she just actually gifted these to me. So thank you so much, Steph. I freaking love them. I've been using these already. That's why not all of them are in here. And this one right here. Oh my gosh, so good for highlighter. So good. So the other pink brushes you see, these are from Shop Trendy Gal. And of course, these are new as well. And I've been trying them out as well. And moving along to what's inside of my original beauty box. So this box I've had for so many years. This is a lot more expensive than the other box, but it is real acrylic. And this box has held up pretty well over the years because I think I've had this for like six years. And it's pretty scratched up and stuff, but I mean, I guess you can't really tell that much because most of the scratches are on the sides from moving and stuff. 
But anyway, on the very top here, I have these new Charlotte Tilbury light ones that I've been trying out. And some of these are blushes and some of them are highlighters. So they're just like cream products. Then I have my Nicole Guerrero highlighter palette. I heard that she is actually releasing this again. So I'm buying another one because this one, this is, I dropped it when I was in Dallas. And unfortunately, one of them shattered. But this is one of my favorite highlighting palettes of all time. You can tell it's been very loved. So yeah, I just keep that there so I can reach for it easily. In this next one, I have some more <laughs> really cute products, but also new things I've been trying. These are from um, Half Caked Cosmetics, and they are glosses. And they are very pigmented, really beautiful pigmented glosses. I got this scrunchie with the coupon code from Too Faced. If it's still available, I'll try to find that for you guys. Then I have this new Tarte palette that they sent me in PR, and um, I've been trying this out because it's mainly all like shimmers and satins. So I don't reach for palettes like this that much, but I did want to try them out. And of course, it's really pretty too. I got these in a boxy charm. So again, these are new. And this is also new. This is an iHeart Revolution Cosmetics palette. And I have done looks with this. And I actually do like it so far. It's hit or miss um, with the shades in the palette. But I do like the lighter colors, like the lighter browns and the shimmers. They're so good. The only one I had an issue blending with was this Americano color. So... So far, so good with this palette for the price. It was very cheap. I think it was like $10 or less. So next we come to this store. And I reach in this store a lot. As you can see, it's not that organized. But I have my Jeffree Star um, Star Mirror, which I use every day to do my makeup. It's even a little dirty from it. But yeah, I use this every day. And then I have a new gloss here from Jeffree Star. My friend Anive bought the mystery boxes and she said she would never use a pink lip gloss. So she said I could keep this. And this is in the color Candy Drip. And I actually do use and love this a lot. That's why I keep it in this drawer so I can reach for it. I also have two Jeffree Star lippies. This is my all-time favorite Jeffree Star lipstick. This is in the color I'm Nude. And then this is a new one. This is in the color... Oh, this was from the mystery box as well. So she let me have these two. So I've been trying those out. So next I have this. This is one of his Velour Lip Scrubs. I got this whenever I took his class in Dallas with Lipstick Nick. And this smells so bomb. And it also just works really well. So I keep this here because... A girl always needs a good lip scrub and I also have my awake lip balm and this is amazing like if you are a dry person or even if you get chapped lips easily this is the bomb like you put this on while you do your makeup and at the end your lips feel so soft so these are just boxes for lip glosses that I just put there because of course I keep boxes to see if I'm gonna like things this one is just cute so yeah so I also got this little sleeping mask by Too Faced when I got that scrunchie. So I just keep that in there. Okay, and then the next door I have small palettes. So these are all smaller eyeshadow palettes and most of them are limited edition MAC palettes. Like all of these. And then I have two Charlotte Tilbury palettes and I do reach for these quite a bit. I just love Charlotte Tilbury shadows. They're so nice. You can tell they're well-loved. Especially this one. When I want a good shimmer, I go to this one for a smoky eye. And then back here, I have some more limited edition MAC products. And this last one, I also reach in this a lot because I have some of my favorite bronzers. I'm so sad that this is limited edition. It's actually this one because this is so good. This is MAC Canyon Dreaming. And I love this. This is also really a good highlighter. This is Pink Glow. I found this at like a Marshalls and yeah, I had to have that. I love a good highlighter. This Pixie one makes you look beaming. It's so nice. This is in Subtle Sunrise. And then one of my favorites, Becca <laughs> Bronzers. Can you tell? Can you tell it's my favorite? And then in here, I have this Ciate blush. It's so pretty, but on top of it, it's so pretty on the face. So I've been using this on a daily basis recently. This is the oldest favorite highlighter that I have. I've been using this for a while, and you can tell. 
and this oh my gosh you guys if you can get your hand on this i don't even know if they still make this hopefully they do because it's really good but this is a candlelight glow and then i also have one of the two faced box blushes which i also use and the one and the only thing Too faced has ever sent me in pr they've sent me one pr item one pr box ever and all it had was this blush and this was like in 2014 or 15 it was a long time ago so yeah we're going to go through the drawers that are in the bottom of our sides of my vanity bottom sides yeah okay so this very top one i am so in love with i just organized this today because charla and i went hunting for organizers there will be a vlog up on that after this video but um yeah we found these at michael's and guys they were two dollars for the whole set they were two dollars and then i had a 25 percent off coupon on sale items so yeah i got it for two dollars for the whole set of them and they didn't have more so we weren't able to get more but they're so cute so in here i keep prepping stuff back here i have like extra setting sprays like my pixie ones and stuff like that this would be cute in here but i just try to keep it as clean as possible and then i have a cover effects one back here as well and just so you guys know this drawer comes out so i can reach back there if i need to um and then here i have the new to um benefit professional which i do like this for my pores i have the no pore problem or no pore blum primer by touch and soul this is so good i got this in a boxy charm and i'm in love with this so i also have a becca under eye primer some l'oreal this right here if you can get your hands on this this is the hyper real foundation in the color rose gold if you want glowy skin all you have to do is mix this with your foundation and your skin will look amazing and i just this is one of my favorite products so i also have the venti primer some pixie oils this is so good becca skin love and then in here i just have some more setting sprays these are the jeffree star morphe ones and then my favorite Too faced hangover and then this garnier rose one i spray this to prep my skin so yeah that's what's in here oh yeah this has a rhyme and rhythm to it because there we go so the next drawer here is my foundation drawer surprisingly i do not keep an excess amount of foundations i keep just what i need and this is like the most amount of foundations that i'll ever have this is actually a lot of foundations for me to have but i i have been trying out different ones so that's why so i have huda beauty not the biggest fan of this one it kind of cracks on my skin and it's probably because i'm so dry here because i remember loving this when i was in dallas where it was more humid i have this ysl all hours foundation which i'm okay i like it but i'm still kind of testing this out i have the l'oreal infallible fresh wear this is my favorite drugstore foundation of all time this is another favorite drugstore foundation this is milani perfect and conceal but this one's a little bit more heavy than the l'oreal so i prefer the l'oreal then i have this becca ever matte which again this is really matte so yeah i have to mix this with stuff to make it work and then this right now is one of my favorites and this is my tan shade so i've been wearing this almost every day this is the nars natural radiant and i get the color bonnetu and this is so good this is another one of my favorites besides the chanel that you guys saw earlier and then i have the bare minerals pro and this is not like an exact color match so i stopped wearing it as much but i do use this to mix it whenever i'm tan because this does have a hint of the olive in it so it's really nice to mix so i have this rcma cream foundation in the days i'm feeling extra dry i use this i have this morphe foundation that i don't like and never returned so i need to get rid of this soon and then i just have um morphe setting spray this is almost gone but i just keep it so i can finish it then I have my airbrush pods here. I have the Temp2 airbrush machine, so I just keep those in there. And then the rest of these are all just random concealers. Like I have L'Oreal, ColourPop, Kylie. Kylie's one is really good, actually. I have the e.l.f. Cameo, or Camo, but I prefer the hydrating one, so I just dumped this one in this drawer. And then I have these new Pure 
ones and I have yet to try those. All right, next. The next drawer I just have pretty much just powders. These are all just powders. I have a backup of my Huda Beauty Pound Cake. I have a backup, well not backup, an older Chanel one, but it still has some in there and I just need to like put the rest of it in the other one if that makes sense. I have this Kevin Aquan one that's really good, Patrick Star. I have a ColourPop, Lancome, Laura Mercier, love this. MAC Mineral, which I don't know if they still make this, but it's really good. The next drawer, I have more palettes, and I'm not even going to go through all of them because I have so many freaking palettes, you guys. So many. I try not to buy palettes anymore unless they're just like must-haves. This drawer has tanning stuff, and it's a mess, so we're not going to go through that. Moving on to the other side, I have this drawer. This is like an essentials drawer because I have like my brow products, some liners that I'm using currently. I need a new black eyeliner, so if you have any recommendations on a pencil liner, I will gladly take them. Comment down below. I have a bunch of mascaras. Now all of these have been opened. Some of these are new. I don't open them all at the same time because obviously we don't want them to all go bad. So I've been finishing up these two Lancome ones, and once I do, I will open one of the other ones. So I also have just some lip stuff. I have some sugar lip balm. The um, Soap and Glory Pillow Plump to plump the lips. I have a MAC lip primer, sugar, and then a sugar scrub. Then I have some eyelash glue, some sharpeners. This pink one is from Benefit, in case you guys are wondering. Then I have some razors because this is how I get rid of peach fuzz on my face. And then I have some backups of my favorite Benefit brow pencils because I use those a lot. Okay, next is bronzers. So these I don't use anymore. I'm going to be honest because I know these are like ancient. But it's hard for me to get rid of because these have sentimental value. So they stay there. <laughs> but someday I'll get rid of them. And then I have this Too Faced. Um, it's like a cream bronzer. And then I have just, I don't know, they're just bronzers. This is another really good product this is by charlotte tilbury so so good this is their um film star bronze and glow then i have some more becca tart nars and then back here i just have some like little contouring palettes the next drawer is a highlighter i love highlighter oh also i don't know if you guys noticed but the bottom of my drawers are pink that's the vinyl paper i was talking about in the intro so yeah, these are all just highlighters. This right here is so amazing. This is the Benefit Tickle. I love, love this. And recently I got this Dandelion one. And this gives the most beautiful glow from within. Also my favorite drugstore highlighter right now is this CoverGirl one. It's in the color... What is the color? Gilded Glory. Okay, next. So this last, not last drawer, this next drawer is all blushes. And need I say more like blushes pretty? I have tons. And this is what I have. We have Benefit. We have these Milani rose blushes, which are beautiful and so pigmented. We have some of their baked blushes, some MAC blushes. These are my two favorite MAC blushes. This one is Eternal Sun. And then... My other favorite is Peachy Keen, so love those two. We have some NARS, of course one of these is NARS Orgasm, I think the other one's Deep Throat. Such awesome names. Then we have this new Anastasia one that I just got. Love that. And we have some Tarte. Somebody just favorited Charlotte Shop. And yeah, that's Blush. This very last drawer has miscellaneous hair items, so like hair products. I have a backup of my Olaplex, because um, I have one in the shower right now. I have this Amika like leave-in treatment. Amika is so good. Like I tried one of their deep treatments and it's so good too. So I've been trying this. It came in BoxyCharm. All the Amika products I've tried came in BoxyCharm and they've all been amazing. This Lange like dry oil marula oil is so so amazing 
so good. I use this for the ends of my hair when I don't want my hair to be like too oily. Just works so good. So yeah, I also have this Aveda. Before I was blonde, this was my favorite oil, but this actually will make your blonde brassy, so don't use it if you're blonde. Instead, I got the Olaplex oil, but that's in my bathroom. Next, here I have all of my hair stuff. So I have my pink blow dryer from Lunge. I will link this below. My favorite wand is also from Lunge. This is what I use to curl my hair, and I think this is their one inch. And then I have my straightener. Manny got the strainer for me for Christmas, so I don't know where it's from, but if I can find it, I'll link it. So, in here, this drawer is empty, so somebody please tell me what to do with this drawer. Probably need lashes. Oh no, I have lashes in this drawer. So this drawer is my lash drawer. So we have all of my Glam Me Up lashes. Of course, Glam Me Up lashes is my company, as I mentioned before. This is what it looks like once it's, you know, opened. So yeah, then I have my Too Faced Gingerbread Powder. I have these little travel makeup cases. I so I always take my brushes in these when I travel so that they don't get messed up. So I use one for eyes and one for face. I have an extra Miss, uh, SL Miss Glam brush set that will be in a giveaway soon on my Instagram. So go follow me on Instagram. And then in this, this is a hot mess of a drawer. This is not my favorite drawer at all, but these are all like liquid eyeshadows cream eyeshadow single eyeshadows and then i randomly have this brow palette and um, i also have glitters more liners um and all of these are my color pop shadows all of these white ones you see back here these are all milani then we have some h and m yeah i don't know what's back there but yeah okay and here we have more palettes you guys i need help this one is really good this is the um glam glow highlighter and they really killed it with this this is nice i also have like a mac a mac palette from the holiday collection i have these Marc jacobs eyeshadow palettes that i really like anytime i want purples like reach for that or blues reach for that i mean these are still kind of purples but yeah so I have some Carity, the balm. This one's from my girl Verito. She has her own makeup company. So yeah, you guys need to check her out. It's Verito's Beauty on Instagram. I also have some Juvia's Place. I really love Juvia's Place eyeshadows. All of these are Juvia's Place. Then I ha on this side I have more like face palettes, and then on this side it's like eye palettes. And then I have my Too Faced Holiday. Just a bunch of palettes that I, I will reach for depending on the look I'm doing, if that makes sense. So this is even more palettes, and in this one I have like Morphe and Jeffree Star. We have Blue Blood Palette, Sugar Blood, Thirsty, Alien, and the rest are miscellaneous, honestly. There's like Morphe, The Balm, Iconic London. Yeah life of a makeup artist you just own a ton of palettes mm -hmm. so in this one i have glosses and this organizer i actually found on amazon it's for spices but i use it for lip gloss genius right oh, so funny. yeah i will link the organizer below the exact one and it actually expands so it'll fit any width of drawer up to like so much so yeah we just have gloss in this and then in here we have like liquid lipsticks. We have more Kylie. <laughs> you weren't lying when you, you said you had a lot of lipsticks. Yeah, can you tell I love Kylie? Yeah, I love her stuff. These are the new MAC ones. They just sent me these. They're like very opaque glosses. We have Carity. And then we, back there we have all of the NYX lip lingerie ones. And then caked makeup. Or half caked, whatever it's called. So the last three drawers... I have no organization whatsoever. I'm just going to show you anyway, even though I hate these drawers. But this is all, all of it is lip products. And I need to literally go through this and get rid of so many because I don't need this many lip products. I need to figure out which ones I want to keep for my makeup kit, for my clients, because a lot of these are untouched, like especially all these pixie ones. I've never used most of these. Some of them are still in boxes. So I just need to figure out what I want to keep for clients and what I want to like get rid of or 
throw away or whatever. So this next one is all bullet lipsticks. So these are all lipsticks that are in bullets and not liquid lipsticks. So we have a lot of Charlotte Tilbury. I personally love these and I do gravitate towards these when I want a red because a lot of them are reds and they're so nice. Um, we have MAC, we have these Joa ones, we have um, a lot of my limited edition MAC ones that I love and yeah cover girl just lots and then this very bottom drawer is just like lip balms and like the stick lipsticks but yeah gotta go through all these and figure out what i want to keep and what i'm not gonna use but yeah that's what's in my collection you guys that's everything for my vanity tour if you guys are curious about anything i mentioned or you saw in this video it will all be linked in the description box i promise down to what i'm wearing so what i mean by that are like lashes lipstick top jewelry because you guys always ask oh yeah and hair extensions so yeah it will all be linked down below if you haven't already make sure you go and follow me on instagram because i post a lot of content there instagram is basically like my mood board but in real life because it's all original photos that i take so make sure you go ahead and go and follow me on instagram also before we leave i just wanted to let you guys know that i did restock my eyelash company just in case you missed that video i am wearing girl boss lashes today so i will link my my um, website for my lashes down below so you guys can go and get some if that's what you want if you were wondering what lashes I'm wearing all right I rambled on enough leave this emoji if you stayed until the end I love you and I'll see you in the next one Mwah.